There's been a massive shale fall, which we're going to be having a look through today. Let's walk along the beach, see what fossils we can find along the way. And when we reach the fall, hopefully there's something really exciting to be found. Let's get straight into it. First thing we're going to do is have a look along some of the shingle and some of the shale and see what fossils we can find. Possibly not too much exciting here, but we've got lots to look forward to in today's video. There's a couple of partial pyritic ammonites preserved in the shale right there. There is another which is better preserved and less eroded. And further up there is another much larger pyritic ammonite, probably a harposerus, just starting to be eroded by the tide. The rest of the ammonite, in theory, will be just under this layer of shale and will gradually be exposed and then eroded away. Here's a small belemnite, pretty much completely revealed. Quite a small example of a squid-like creature. Here's another example of a pyritized harposerus ammonite. Seems to be quite a few around. It's nice seeing them. A shame most of them will get eroded away to nothing, but at least capturing them on video like this, lots of people will get to see them. Lots of little pyrite clusters on top of the fossil. This belemnite here is also completely exposed right to the very tip of the belemnite guard. Not very eroded at all, must have just recently become exposed. A lot of people think at first they look like fossilised teeth and you can see why. Another ammonite preserved just over there, some fossilised shells as well. Quite a few fossils all preserved near each other. Let's have a look across this rock pool, see if there's any fossils to be found. Oh, there's a nodule there. Part of a harposerus ammonite on the surface. Oh, it's got a little ammonite set on the outer whirl of the larger specimen. It's not one that I'm going to take home, however, it looks really nice, really pyritic. for someone else to find. Let's see if there's anything else we can spot as we're walking along. Tiny, purely preserved ammonite there. Just need to find a nice big complete one. Doesn't look like there's too much here at all, so we'll head further up the beach and have a good look along the way before we get to the big fall. You can see here an absolutely massive, massive fall of sandstone. It's been down for quite some time. You can even see right at the top where the path used to be. Just goes to show, you should never be close to the cliff, either at the cliff edge or the bottom of the cliff. Because as you can see, people literally used to walk right along there before the cliff fell down.
So far we've not found any 3D ammonite, but I have just seen this. Potentially this could be the first of the day. Little bit broken on the outer whirl. However, if you look at that, the center of the ammonite looks to be perfect. All that needs to be done is for this little piece of limestone to be removed. We'll have a perfect ammonite underneath. Well, we found a few pretty nice fossils there in the shale. Not quite what we're looking for. So let's keep searching and come across something a bit more exciting. It's been a massive ammonite in that slab there. Look at the size of that. That's huge. What a shame it's not 3D. Still pretty nice to see though. So the nodule down here has had a crushed ammonite. I wonder if there's any others around here. It looks like there's potentially something in that nodule there, although I'm not 100% sure. It's worth a look though. Looks to me like that might be the keel of an ammonite. Quite a large specimen if it is. Yeah, it's definitely an ammonite. Not sure what species or how well it's preserved. Pretty big specimen inside that. It's hard to know if it's going to be completely preserved or not, so it's actually worth giving that a quick tap with the hammer and chisel. You can see more of the edge revealed already. A bit more of it revealed. Last little bit to go. If you look here, that's what we've just revealed, and there's a crack where the rest of the rock is about to come away. There we go. What do we think it's going to be like inside? Is it going to be preserved well or completely crushed? Let's see. Oh, nice! That's a really lovely ammonite. I'm not even sure what species that is, to be honest. I'll have to take it home and see what Shay and my dad think. That is awesome. That's a really, really lovely fossil. Wasn't expecting that whatsoever. Just take a little bit of preparation and it'll be ready for display. Just to help with the preparation, I'm also gonna take that little piece to fit it back on there. Just so if it is a rare specimen, we can easily glue that on and just prepare that bit of outer whirl. Great. We're pretty much about to reach the big shale fall now. Fingers crossed there's going to be something nice there to be found. I'm already over the moon with the fossil that we've just found. It's going to be hard to top that one. You can already see bits right there where the cliff has fallen. There's all of the shale slabs that have been left there after the tide has come along and washed them all. Let's put my bag down and we'll have a look for some fossils. A couple of really impressive bellum nights already. 
吧。Loads of ammonite impressions. You can see the difference with those other ammonites that we had a look at earlier in the video. These specimens here are much more pristine because they've literally just been exposed. Nice nodule filled with ammonites. So many slabs here to look through. Of course, we've got to bear in mind that a lot of rock has fallen. So we're not going to be getting too close to any of that, but we'll look at the slabs of shale around the perimeter of the fall. Part there. Big phyloceros ammonite. A couple of pieces where it's broken across. You can imagine how big that entire specimen would have been. It would have been ginormous. Really hoping for a big fossilized skull to be washed out of this fall. Although, maybe it's a bit too wishful thinking. Oh, if you look there, that rock has had some sort of ammonite the side of it. It's probably worth putting our chisel in, lifting that shale and revealing the specimen that's further underneath or within this nodule. I'll quickly go get the tools and we'll have a look inside. Just as I was going back to get my tools, just then, I've literally come across two ichthyosaur paddle digits, completely out of the blue, wasn't expecting it at all. I'll show you them now. It was a slab I'd come across. Couldn't believe it. It's perfectly exposed paddle digit. Need a little bit of preparation, but these are a couple of the bones from a flipper of an ichthyosaur. Right here, you can see another one. Break some of the shale from around it. Perfect bone underneath. You can see there the detail from the bone. It's absolutely perfect. Just need a little bit of air abrasive work to remove that top layer of shale. Two digits from the same flipper. I did have a quick look around, but I couldn't see any more. So it's quite possible if there was any more of this flipper, it might be all separated and broken up amongst the slabs. But as we're going along, I'll keep having a little look, see if there's any others that we can spot. Now, as we initially planned to do, let's have a look inside this nodule. Seems like there is another ammonite, but it's not preserved within the nodule. It's preserved on the bottom of it, so it's completely crushed. Oh well, just the way it goes sometimes. That nodule that we just removed from the shale slab and I thought was going to be completely empty, I decided to open it up and you're not going to believe what was inside. I'll show you it now. Here's a look at what was inside of it. How incredible is that? That certainly took me by surprise. Can't believe it. I love how pyritic it is. It's makes it even more special when you had no idea at all that there was gonna be anything there. I'm so glad that I decided to open that nodule just on the off chance. Well, we've had a pretty good look for some fossils there. 
and I'm really pleased with the two ichthyosaur paddle digits which we managed to come across. Would have been nice to find a few more digits from the flipper, but I'm really happy with what we did find. Now to top it off, let's head home and look at another fossil which we found on another recent fossil hunt which was being prepared. Really excited to show you it. Given that we found two paddle digits in today's video, I thought I'd show you a preview of some paddle digits that we're also working on at home. This is a paddle that is completely articulated. Absolutely unbelievable. I'll be sure to give you an update on these when we've done some more preparation work on it. Every single nodule here contains an ammonite fossil. They range from large to small ammonites and also different species. The majority of nodules here will open up really well. You can never guarantee which ones will, however these have the best chance. If you'd like a selection of ammonites to open up yourself at home, please contact us on our Instagram page, yorkshire.fossils, or alternatively visit our official website, yorkshirefossils.net, for both ammonites to open yourself, as well as fully prepared specimens. And if you do get some, I really hope you enjoy opening them, and thanks in advance for supporting what we do. I hope you've enjoyed having a look at that fossil. If there's any other fossils in mind that you would like to see in future videos, let us know in the comments. We can certainly look to including some of those. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.